Mastering Decision Making, Evaluating Pros and Cons Effectively. Hello learners. Welcome to our journey into the world of critical thinking and analysis. Today, we're going to dive into a crucial skill in debates, discussions, and even our day-to-day -day life, evaluating pros and cons. We'll go one step further and learn how to consider the potential consequences of each pro and con. First off, what are pros and cons? Simply put, pros are the positive aspects or the advantages of an idea, decision, or course of action, whereas cons are the negative aspects or the drawbacks. When we are faced with a decision, it's important to lay out all the pros and cons we can think of. This helps us get a full picture of what we're dealing with. It's not enough to just list out the pros and cons. The next step is to consider the potential consequences of each of them. This involves thinking about how each pro and con could affect us, or the situation, in both the short and long term. For instance, a decision might have a short-term con but provide long-term pro or vice versa. To help you understand better, let's use an example. Imagine you're considering whether to study a foreign language. Some pros might include enhanced career prospects and cognitive benefits. Some cons could be the time and financial commitment. Here's where we consider consequences. Enhanced career prospects could mean better job opportunities and financial security in the future, a clear long-term pro. On the other hand, the time and financial commitment could cause stress and affect your current lifestyle, a potential short-term con. To apply this skill, start by making a simple pro-con list for your decisions. For each point, ask yourself, what could be the potential consequences of this in the short term? What about in the long term? How could this affect me or others involved? Remember, critical thinking is not about being critical. It's about being curious, open-minded, and logical. That brings us to the end of our video on evaluating pros and cons effectively. Remember, Decisions might seem complex, but with the right techniques, we can handle them systematically and confidently. We hope this video has been helpful. Remember to keep practicing your English language skills and critical thinking. Until next time, happy learning!